Welcome to Teens Make Realistic Bubble Drawings. I'm Amanda, the Teen Services Assistant at the Chesney Branch Library, and I'm going to show you techniques on how to draw realistic, colorful soap bubbles on black paper. The supplies you need for this project can be found in our pick-me-up kit. See the description to learn how to request this free pick-me-up kit. Pick-me-ups are available on a first-come, first-served basis while supplies last. The pick-me-up will have everything you need for this project, which includes colored pencils, a paint marker, one pencil, a cup and plastic ramekin with a lid to trace circles, one sharpener and eraser, black paper, and a pencil pouch to keep all of your supplies in. To begin, start by using the cup, the plastic ramekin, and lid to trace circles of various sizes with a pencil. You can also allow for some of the circles to overlap each other. Clean up any mistakes using the white eraser. The pencil eraser could possibly leave smudges on the black paper. You can also use other circular household objects in this step as well. Now we are going to begin adding some highlights to the circles. Make sure the white pencil has a sharp point. Begin by tracing over the pencil outline in about four sections. You will not need to trace the entire circle. Repeat this process with the remaining circles. You'll want to grab your brighter color pencils. I'm using light blue, yellow, orange, red, and pink. Tracing over the outline, create a rainbow of colors in different sections. I like to place exact colors opposite each other on the circles. It's okay to place some of your colors over the white areas. This will help create a brighter color highlight. Continue this process with the other circles. You can use less or more colors as you work. By doing this, you can experiment with different color patterns and highlights. Using the white pencil, we are going to begin drawing shapes to show reflected light. Draw a couple of arch triangles on one side of the circle. On the opposite side, draw a couple of arched rectangles that follow along the shape of the circle. Draw a few more shapes along the other sides of the circle, but keep in mind that the center of the circle will need to remain black. For the smaller circles, you will have smaller reflected light areas, so you won't need to draw as many shapes inside of those. Within those shapes, begin to color in some bright highlight areas using the white pencil.
With a light blue pencil, shade in some arches to create some lower light areas in all of the circles. We're now going to create some deep color shadows. For a few of the shapes, I'm using a combination of white, light blue, dark blue, and purple. Transition the colors from light to dark using an even blend. With the white pencil, brighten the highlight and lightly go over the other colors to create a smooth finish. Since reflected light is a combination of many colors, we want to leave some shapes and some areas open for those remaining colors. Using a rainbow of colors, begin coloring in those open shapes and open areas that we didn't fill in before. You can use a variety of color combinations, but make sure to create a smooth blend. You can also create a reflection of the same colors on opposite sides of the bubble. With the same rainbow of colors, lightly blend in some larger areas of shading within the outline. Also, brighten up some areas of color in the shaded arches.
use the white pencil again to brighten up the original highlights and create some accented areas of reflected light. Now it's time to make our bubbles really pop. Grab the white paint pen and find a surface to release the paint. I use the ramekin lid. Press the point down until the paint flows freely. Begin by going over the white pencil areas, but you will not need to cover the white pencil entirely. If the paint is too heavy in some areas, you can create little sparkles. Brighten up the accent marks also with the paint. Don't forget to work in some paint in the shapes in the highlight areas. You can also create some sparkles inside the bubble. I love this project. It's such a fun art piece and you can continue experimenting with color, highlights, and patterns. Don't forget to participate in summer reading to earn this awesome sling bag and sticker and to be entered into weekly gift card drawings. Summer reading lasts until July 31st, so visit SpartanburgLibraries.org or any SCPL location to get started. Also, we have virtual teen programs happening every Wednesday and Friday all summer long. Be sure to follow us at SCPL Teams on Instagram or Facebook to stay in the loop about programs, contests, and more. Thanks for watching.